Hey there everyone, this is Atesh and I'm back again with another video. So obviously you might be noticing a lot of changes in me. I got rid of my beard and 2016 is almost over. So we are coming up with a new year 2017. Everybody is excited for that. Some are making resolutions, some are just reviewing what they have done in the past year and I'm gonna be doing exactly the same. So this movie is about what I did in the 2016, what were the best part, what were the worst part and most importantly what I'll be doing in 2017. A few plans that I can share with you. So let's get started. So first of all before we move on to the 2017 part because a lot of good stuff is coming up in 2017 and this is going to be very beneficial for you. So what I did in 2016, now my 2016 was not at all a good year in the very beginning, it was a very bumpy ride. I got operated twice in the very first of the 2016. The one operation did really got well but the second one was, was not going according to the plan and eventually it turned up really bad for me. Seven days continuously on the bad and uh, it, it was something uh, that was pure uh, demotivating to me. And uh, after that, I got a lot of weight, but uh, the best thing that happened in 2016 was my ride. So I had to say no to quite a few projects that were good for me. I wanted to really take them, but due to bad health condition, I had to get them down. And slipping off those projects from the hand was really drastic for me. I didn't like it at all. Nobody likes such a good amount and good knowledge that you are about to learn and it was about to go. So that was a rough start of the 2016. And the next thing that happened to me was the Harley ride. I did road to my dream ride from Jaipur to Goa. It was a pretty big ride for me. And two on a bike, such a Goa, nice environment. And, and I did learn a ton of thing on that ride. I learned a lot about how you can uh, make yourself up, how to rely on the people, how you can rely on yourself, relying on the technology, especially on the GPS system. And it gave me a lot of time to think about what I'm doing with my life, what I should be doing with my life. And Goa is such a nice place to be on the beaches and think a lot about it. So after coming back from the Goa, I decided that I'm going to be spending extra hours on uh, focusing on what I do, creating content, uh, approaching people, approaching clients, earning more and a little bit like that. So things got started really uh, Things got really started to grow up in 2016 and I was hugely focused. Uh, but the one bad thing that was going up along with me was I was getting uh, really, really fat. I was not hitting the gym. Although I did promise myself in 2016 that I'll be hitting the gym every day, but that didn't happen. Just like most of you. So I started to go, uh, I started to getting much more fat and uh, although I was approaching good clients, I, I started to make a little bit of the money and all of that. It, it was really going well. So around in the mid of the 2016, I decided something very harsh for me. I thought that I need to be focused much more. And uh, how can I get much more focused? So I started uh, reading a lot of books and especially the David uh, Dave Crenshaw's book about time management really helped me and uh, started to motivating me. And I decided a few harsh decisions for me. Like I'm going to grow a beard for myself because it's a, it's a testing of your patience level. So I did grow up uh, it for about uh, six months or so. And also I decided that I'm going to be wearing this gray t-shirt. Not this for the entire six months, but this color only. So I successfully did both of them. Uh, recently I got rid of my beard, but again, uh, it was thoroughly a good experience for me. And in the last three months or so, uh, I was able to hit the gym continuously. I got rid of a lot of fat, but still I'm not yet perfectly fit. I want to reduce a little bit more weight, but yes, I'm in a good shape now and I'm really proud on that. So uh, towards the end, uh, I worked really hard and one of the great achievements that I did was I hit the best month with the online earning. So I was doing a lot of project, app development, designings, uh, online teaching, YouTube marketing videos, YouTube and all of such things and really it helped me a lot and I did hit the best month in the earning wise throughout my life. And this, this is something uh, big, a, a huge achievement for me. So this was all good. And what did I learn in 2016? Uh, I learned a ton of technologies in 2016. Uh, I tried really hard with the design perspective and I got really good in that. Uh, previously I used to hate design part, Photoshop and everything. 
So I overcame uh, with my fear of that and now I'm a pretty solid designer. In fact, for a couple of companies, I have designed logos too. So that's, that's kind of achievement for me. And apart from programming and stuff, I moved really deep into the game development and iOS programming, not kind of a Unity game development, but again, the game engine by Apple, uh, game simple, de uh, the SDK game development by Apple, it was pretty nice. Although uh, I was more into the 2D type of game design and app development for Apple, but it was really awesome for me. And I also did try to write a book on iOS development for iOS 10. But in the midway, I thought that it would be much better than uh, just taking the screenshot and putting on them book. Uh, it would be much better if I launch an online course on iOS development or maybe launch a bootcamp for that. And both of them really did, uh, did a really great job for me. So I was invited for uh, this offline bootcamp in a couple of countries. I really uh, did earn quite a lot in that. And uh, I did travel a couple of places. Uh, uh, Canada and China. China was the greatest expen uh, kind of experience for me and I really thoroughly liked uh, what the Chinese are doing and uh, how the technology is going on there and especially how, how the food and everything is there. So it was a thoroughly great experience for me. But later in 2016, I did uh, really well and I'm happy for myself and for my family as well. The best part of the 2016 was the YouTube. So I decided in the last couple of months that I'm going to do something different uh, with myself. I'm not going to be just a geeking out on the codes and everything, although I love to do that. But still, I decided I'm going to do a something different thing. So I worked in a company who was uh, basically into the all YouTube stuff. So they were designing channel for other people, uh, making content, making that uh, explosive marketing content on the YouTube and everything. So I applied on them uh, for the for that company and uh, obviously I got hired there and uh, I was not making a full time job there. I was an intern and in return, uh, they were taking a lot of my services because I was experienced coder. Uh, so on the tech side, they were taking a lot from me, but I was happy that I was learning YouTube from them like how the lighting works, how the audio works, how the green screen works, how the background effect, editings, uh, talking in front of the camera, uh, using the camera nicely, what camera you need to have, what lenses do you need to use. So a ton of knowledge was uh, just getting into me and I was loving it all, all in all. So I decided that I'm gonna be using that knowledge and putting all of that on the YouTube. So I decided to give it a go for my YouTube channel. Already I was having a YouTube channel, but I was not working on it. So I decided, that I'll be working on my YouTube channel now. And obviously within the last uh, two months, I got almost a 3000 or 4000 subscriber. Right now the channel is hitting almost 6000 subscribers. So this was the best part. I suddenly have, uh, I was feeling that I'm having a community here. People uh, just come and down, watch for your videos, wait for your videos, talk to you, making new friends. YouTube is such such a tremendous thing. I really hate myself that I didn't start it earlier. It, it is something that you should all try it. And maybe in the future, I'll try to upload a videos on YouTube DIY series, how you can get started on the YouTube as well. I did earn pretty good at the YouTube. And in fact, I did bought an Apple Watch completely from uh, the YouTube money that I earned. Also, I did bought a Final Cut Pro that was completely from the YouTube income. So uh, that, that was something great, but obviously I didn't start the YouTube channel for the money. It was something for the community and I enjoyed a lot. So that was kind of a review of 2016 and what you can expect in 2017. So I'm making some good promises from myself and I'm trying to make sure that I'm taking more out of myself in 2017. The first thing that I will be promising myself, and in fact, I have already promised to myself, is uploading 300 videos on the YouTube in the next year. I know this is this is a huge, and 300 videos means in out of 365 days, I have to work at least 10 months every single day and uploading a video. And obviously uploading a video is not easy because first of all, you have to look out for good quality content. Then you have to set up lightings, audio, camera, recording stuff, then editing stuff, post-production. And uh, after that, you have to upload on a slow internet speed. So it takes a lot of things and consume a lot of good uh, eight hour or maybe six hours of your time every single day. 
I know it's a big thing because I have to keep uh, everything like my work, my other content, my uh, clients, everything. I have to pay my bills as well. But on behalf of that, I'm assuming if I'll be not able to do so, uh, I'll be just making excuses of myself. So my promise is to upload 300, at least on at least side, 300 videos on the YouTube. That's going to be a pretty big deal for me. Now, apart from that, I'm not just be uploading any stuff. I'll be uploading very meaningful and uh, question answer sections, some uh, tutorials on design, coding and all those stuff that I'll be doing. And in 2017, I'm planning to launch out a couple of video series on game development on iOS as well. Now, I'm not into the Android yet. Uh, I'm not uh, going to be uploading series and all that, all that stuff on the Android yet. Uh, but again, uh, 2017 is going to be full of surprises for you. I have a lot of planning that I'm already, I've already started doing that. But again, that's going to be one major announcement. So look out for uh, in the thumbnail. I'll be setting up 300 slash 1, 300 slash 2 to keeping a track of myself that how many videos I'm uploading in a year. Again, 300 is a big number. So this is my first resolution and of course, uh, just like always, like all of you, I'll be hitting the gym. Uh, I'll try that at least if I be able to hit the gym at least three times a week, that would be much more good. Uh, because in the last year, I saw a one May May saying, uh, your new resolution is my everyday, uh, that's the gymming. Uh, I don't like to uh, say that I, I made it there, but I didn't obviously made it there. Uh, I'll try this year that if I'll be able to do so. So three times at least a week. I know these are some big promises that I'm making myself. But I realized that in the last six months or so, if I'll be able to focus so much uh, by wearing a single color t-shirt, growing a beard, it helped me to focus so much. I can do much better with my life. And uh, obviously, that's going to be my side. Now, I would expect uh, a lot of you might be taking resolution as well. And that's a good thing. There is no harm if you're able to. And I don't say sometimes you like to keep your promises. Sometimes situation just are different and you are not able to keep those promises. But New Year is a great time to make sure to make new promises. Let me know in the comment down in the comment section below that what are new promises that you are making, whether you are want to learn uh, uploading videos on the YouTube. Maybe you want to start a game channel or maybe you want to learn programming, iOS development, front end web development, back end or app development, whatever you're looking for. Make sure that you hit down in the comment below and tell me what you are up to in this 2017. Now with this, I would say bye bye and keep watching the channel in case you haven't subscribed yet. Do subscribe because a ton, a plethora of content is about to come on the YouTube and I'll catch you up in the next movie.